Welcome to the next installment in the Ask a Scientist series brought to you by the National Weather Service in Las Vegas. Today's installment will focus on downslope winds. Downslope winds are winds that increase in speed as air flows down the side of a mountain range. Certain conditions must be in place in the atmosphere for this to occur. When these conditions exist, the air is essentially forced to accelerate down the mountain slope into the neighboring valley, resulting in winds frequently over 50 miles an hour and occasionally over 100 miles an hour. Downslope winds occur in the lee of significant mountain ranges around the world, including in the Owens Valley and western Las Vegas Valley. Let's take a more in-depth look at downslope winds. First, the winds near the ridgetop level must blow nearly perpendicular to the mountain range. For example, the Sierra Nevada range is oriented approximately north to south. Winds blowing from the west near the ridgetop would be the first ingredient for downslope winds on the eastern slopes. The side of the mountain facing into the wind is called the windward side, and the other side is called the leeward or lee side. One condition which helps downslope winds develop is reverse shear. Normally, wind speeds increase as you go higher in the atmosphere. If this condition is reversed, that is, the wind speeds decrease higher above the ridge tops, this favors the development of downslope winds. Another condition which helps downslope winds develop is a stable layer above the ridge top. Normally, temperature decreases as you go higher in the atmosphere. If the temperature remains nearly the same through a layer, or even increases with height, this is a stable layer which favors the development of downslope winds. As the air is forced down the lee slopes of the mountain range, it accelerates. Wind speeds on the lower mountain slopes are frequently higher than speeds at the ridge tops or above. Downslope winds in the Mojave Desert area occur most frequently during the cool season from fall through spring. Downslope winds occur frequently in the Owens Valley on the east side of the Sierra Nevada. For example, on March 29, 2009, a wind gust of 91 miles an hour was observed 5 miles west-southwest of Independence. Downslope winds occur occasionally on the west side of the Las Vegas Valley on the east side of the Spring Mountains. For example, on April 7, 2011, a wind gust of 77 miles an hour was observed at the Red Rock Visitor Center. On January 5, 2008, 10 homes in the Northwest Valley suffered roof damage from downslope winds. Downslope winds also occur occasionally in the Fish Lake Valley on the east side of the White Mountains. For example, on April 14, 2009, downslope winds in Dyer damaged 15 roofs and destroyed three outbuildings. Downslope winds occur rarely in the Morongo Basin on the north side of the San Bernardino Mountains. For example, on March 20, 2011, wind gusts over 100 miles an hour caused significant damage to homes and other structures. Downslope winds also occur rarely in the Pahrump Valley on the west side of the Spring Mountains. For example, on December 1, 2011, wind gusts up to 94 miles an hour damaged several structures and injured one person. Downslope winds probably occur in unpopulated areas of the open desert as well. <laughs>